Myth 2. When a star collapses into a black hole, its gravity increases. That's not exactly true. You can explain why in two ways, within general relativity and within Newtonian gravity. The GR explanation is more accurate but also more complex, so we'll use the Newtonian approach. It's more intuitive and leads to the same conclusions. Example. The sun's radius is about 700,000 kilometers. Its mass is spread across a huge volume. On the screen, you can see a schematic representation of the sun's gravitational pull on Earth. However, if we take an object that's located very close to the sun, or even inside it, it will be pulled in different directions by different parts of the sun. As a result, these gravitational forces partially cancel each other out reducing the net force. If the sun collapsed into a black hole, its radius would shrink to under three kilometers. The region with a 700,000 kilometer radius that the sun used to occupy would now be empty, so any body inside that region would feel gravity pulling essentially in just one direction, making the gravitational pull on it much stronger. But for planets orbiting far away, almost nothing would change. Even before the collapse, they felt the sun's gravity as if it came from an almost point-like mass. So there's a grain of truth in the myth. The gravitational pull does increase, but only for objects that end up very close to where the star collapsed. 